Right, my journey, journey starts here. My journey into it's supposed to be one of the most dangerous cities, dangerous parts of Nottingham. This is what was this? This is Woodborough Road. Woodborough Road turns here. Bus stops there. Bus station there, and that's the way into the city centre. Look how many buses there is. And bus station. That is Nottingham bus station. Victoria bus station. And this starts my journey into what's supposed to be one of the most dangerous areas in Nottingham. Along here. In case you haven't guessed yet, it should be St Anne's. This starts my journey. Alright guys, I'll see you on the other side. So this is my journey into St Anne's. Just crossed over the road. Crossing's there, crossing over there. That is Victoria Centre or Victoria Centre over there, the car park and I'm walking through now. And that show, I'm not sure if I'm going to hit, this is Woodborough Road. Bright day. Let's see what happens. Let's see what takes place in St. Anne's. Lovely mural. What does this say? Take care of, zoom it out. Take care of nature. Take care of nature. And there's all different animals. There is a zoo around here. Oh yeah, normally it's a zoo. There's a zoo down there. I can't remember what it's called. It's called the, what's this? Global warming. Please be green, don't be mean. Stop producing gases. You're harming the masses. Recycle more. Wow. Change the law. Plant more trees. Beg you please. Sea levels are rising, which isn't surprising. Wow. So this is St. Anne's. This was, I'm presuming this was done as part of the council. School day, I think that's called, might be Sycamore School, I can't remember, but there's a school there, a couple of schools here. Footpath there. And this is St. Anne's. This is, not Hunger Hill Road, come on, this is Woodborough Road, yes. So this road will take you straight in to, uh, this road will take you straight into Woodborough and Mapley, Mapley and then Woodborough. Carlton sides, Carlton areas and those sides. Very, this is a very busy area, pass through to get through from Woodborough and Mapley top into the, uh, someone there wielding a, some sort of weapon there, look. Don't know what he's doing there. They caught that guy on camera, some guy who's smashed it, smashing the post with a camera. Nottingham School of Boys at Boxing. Asiana Supermarket, so sells Asian food, Chinese, I think it's restaurant, Chinese, Asiana, it's in Japanese and Chinese food. Where did they say go? Pakistan Centre, where is it? It's here, is it here? What did he say? Where's the Pakistan Centre? Hunting oh. Academy. Nottingham School of Boxing there. So, Nottingham School of Boxing there. Big building. Look at that. Very old building. Pakistan Centre. Old. It's here. Pakistan Centre. So we're here. Alright, so this is Pakistan Centre. I'm supposed to meet Nadim. And it's right next door to the School of Boxing. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Let's see what's happening here. Onto the academy and road, steep road up to Woodborough Road. I'll wait for the, uh, the uh, wait for them to finish. Prayer time. It's prayer time here in the Pakistan Centre. Wait for them. Look at that. It was a Baptist church. 1894. Right guys, so this is St Anne's. We come out the other end. You want to be on, you want to be on camera? You want to talk about it? So um met my friend Nadim, long time friend. Um, he's 
He's lived in Saint Anne's all his life. Oh, Saint Anne's was Saint Anne's. It was changed, Saint Anne's. It? Yeah, it changed. It, it, oh yeah, you can talk about that in a minute. Yeah, the change really, yeah. in Saint Anne's. Yeah. All right, there's a Chinese supermarket there. It opened up a little while ago. That's new, is it? That must about, be new. About 10, 12 years ago. Okay, so this is the beginning of it. We're in. Um, what part of Saint Anne's are we in? It's at the, the moment? city centre side. The city centre of Saint Anne's. You see the graffiti. And, and quite nice. nice pleasant area as such but people have given it a bad and it's, it's kind of maybe the residents over the years have given it a bad reputation themselves um but this is and nadine's lived here as well what do you think of how do you know what do you think you've you've lived here your, your parents lived here you grew up here how do you feel about sentence it's changed in the last 34 30, 30 odd years it's changed from maybe rough and tough yeah when we we're younger but They've cleaned it all up in the sense of made it nicer. They've developed certain parts into more, in, in, you know, individual living areas, nicer. D they've cleaned up the houses. They've added things to them. They've given them a bit more land, gates and fences. And in doing that, they've made it more pleasant for people to live and security wise as well. So yeah, it's changed to the point where you walk through the area, you wouldn't recognize it being an area that was rough about 30 years ago. It just doesn't feel like it. So what was, Saint, what was Saint Anne's like to grow up in then? Well, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. It's like when you were younger, you were getting fights all the time if you were young. But those days you would have a fist fight and the next day you'd get up and talk about it. It's changed from that. Uh, but you don't see any of fighting here in this area now. It's more kids do this thing, they go home. This is one of the old shops that was here for a long, long time ago. It's still open, by the way. Look in the doors there. Oh, the shop's open still. Yeah, it's still open. But this part can get a bit... Because you get... On this part of it, you've got the city centre side. And here, you've got a lot of um, drug users that come through this area, partly. Have you noticed the camera there keeping antisocial behaviour at a minimum? And that's what I, this is. And then, and basically, it's not just St Anne's that's blighted with... It's not the centre that's blighted yes. with drugs. It's, it's, it's it tends to be of areas, lots of areas in. It's just in, it's not just city, this city either. It's lots of cities. Yeah, lots of other cities lots that have been blighted by drugs. City, yeah. So St Anne's, so you you've enjoyed growing up in St Anne's then? Yeah, I was fine with it. I was alright, pretty safe. Younger days, yeah, I was good with it. You know, and I walked through these ways when I used to come into town all the time, so I never had any issues. So these houses when we built built in the what the sixties? Some of these around about the late sixties, yeah, late sixties, early seventies. Did there used to be flats in um yeah, there used to be houses. No, there used to be lots of um what not, they no, call not high rise blocks. No ghetto housing. It was known for you know, you had your two up, two down, but the problem you had with it was the toilets and the bathrooms were outside. It was real ghetto areas, real sh sheds you know people were in sheds pretty much and back in the day they, they ripped it all down and made a whole new pretty much area and in making a new area these houses came up from the late 60s to 70s and to be honest with you when you look at them what do they look like to you they just look like reasonably nice houses well well maintained i mean i think it's similar to what you have your mum's mate you know you what's know? that hey how are you how are you Oh, how are you? Well, I'll sing. I'll sing. I'll just video, I'm just making a video. Okay. Uh, I'm an old referee. Old referee. Yeah, old referee. My old referee. I say I don't say old as that, but I mean my old <laughs> old old time referee. Uh, how are you? And he used to work for was he's referee for City Boys and when he's worked for City Boys and uh, yeah, it's a long time, uh, long time. City Boys for a long time. Hey, there's, there's I'm making a video about sentence. You've lived in sentence a long time. Yeah. How do you feel? So you can talk to the camera. How do you uh, feel? I feel I like it. I like living in St. Anne's. Yeah. I'm not too happy with the amount of uh, people I think uh, either alcoholics or druggies. That's what you just talking uh, about. They seem to be floating around a bit. And uh, I usually have a bit of a word with them. I'm yeah, not yeah. nice, but I have a word. <laughs> and, uh, but they, uh, apart from that, I'd like to see more playing facilities and well there is facilities in the same time but I'd like to see it more suited to the local kids. Yeah. There isn't a, there isn't an actual youth club. There's a nice space where the shops are in the square. Uh, there's a nice space there. Uh, they've got what I think it uh, belongs to the university. And that would make a right, okay. really useful a nice, nice club, area. But, they don't, because uh, we've still got kids 
ooh, ooh, grinding groups. Yeah, so it's a get, yeah, groups. Yeah, you yeah. know, they, they, I like them in them sometimes, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I like them sometimes better. Do you? What, made, what makes you like the old centre better than the new one? Because, I, know, I know you talked about because the Because when I went somewhere, it was a direct route, man. Oh, yeah, you have around. to go around and it's a long... Same with the Meadows. Yeah. Same with Clifton. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, and some of why, did this, why did they change that then? Why did, is it just to... Uh, I, I, I think... Well, is, is it to break you, up the you, area? You look at the state of the houses, because most of the houses are fought in the old St. Anne's and the old Meadows. They're from the 40s and 50s. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, because so, we, we, we yeah, mentioned I mean, 60s, didn't we? Some, some are really, really dilapidated and run down. Oh, and, they? Uh, the, the faces on the break, they all, they're all gone. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Roofs and... Yeah. And there was a lot of landlords who didn't, didn't denote in them days. Yeah. I used to live in the old residence. I used to do my own repairs. Yeah, long, long yeah. time. So yeah. how, do you, how do you feel about... as? I'm walking through now and just to yeah, talk to people about how do you think about crime? Has it has it got is it got worse now or is it has it has it gone down? Unless it happens round me. I, I do know because I do chair based exercises with older people. Yeah, yeah. Some of them feel a bit apprehensive about walking around. Do they? Especially if it's late at night. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, they That's not them in general though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh but the cr uh, crime, unless it happens near you, you, you don't see it. You don't see it. Unless you no. read about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was just telling him about, about when I used to work at the, you know, Sycamore and do these projects with the kids and stuff like that, years ago, I remember, I remember standing near Woodborough Road, just the top here, and um, a guy came up to me and he says to me, oh, do you know, he sums up to me because, Excuse me, I went, yes, he goes, do you know where St. Anne's is? And I went, you what? You're right, this is St. Anne's. And he, and he says, what? And he goes, this is St. Anne's. And he goes, oh no, I was expecting it to see, see bullet holes in the walls and like <laughs> looking looking like Beirut. Oh no, we, don't, we have got a bad reputation. <laughs> we have got a bad reputation. But because I'm a 43 years caretaker at the Elms. Yeah. Look, I, I was still in touch with kids and still in touch with parents yeah yeah well respected the member of the community they, they're grown up and they've got they've got kids of their own now you know what yeah, i mean yeah and uh, it's a bit awkward when they come up and say bill bill how are you going on I'll, i'm all right thank you. can you remember me i used to play football for you and then they go like that and i'm going <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so well res they, respected they, member of the community no, I, I like saint times yeah because he's, he's I, I like, i'd like to see a bit more tidy a bit Council do a bit more with the. Well, that's going to change. You'll see the change as you go through it. Are we going to see? Are we going to see change because of what's happened last night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've, I've got. Uh, we need someone that government money. We need someone that loaning up money. We we need someone that to come back. In. I think you know the Conservatives screwed up with not leveling up. This is where. No, what the Conservatives did is put money in their own pocket. That's what yeah, they did. Yeah, of course they did. They yeah. know that's something happened. Yes. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> they made what? They made a cycling on the main road, and this is Hutchinson Green, like, by the way. Bye, Bill. That, that goes over towards um, where we came from, Pakistan Centre, but this is Hutchinson Green. They made these about 30 years ago, these little dung loads of foot in the middle. There's a whole green there, and this right. is an area where they've changed. This, remember I was telling you about the um, fencing off and security areas? Yeah. This is an example of it. Oh, All right, okay. The whole oh, so area has been fenced. Fenced off to... Yeah, to protect bunk loads for elderly people. Oh, uh, yeah, so... so so, for them, so they're taking care of the elderly then, really? Yeah, take care of the elderly, and then you see here, you've got private homes, and you've got council homes in these corners. I see some houses over there with a uh, solar panel. Yeah, are they are they, are they part of the... Yeah, they're, they're part of the scheme. That, um, are they part of the scheme from the schemes, government scheme here? Government schemes, yeah. Is it? You can see these little fenced off as well. You can break the fence off. Created down the side here as well. So making it nice and, you know, more individual and secure. Right. You can see it's pleasant, it's nice, clean. Look at the green grass, look at how it all looks nice, tidy. You walk in here, you see lots of trees, greenery. The area, mate, honestly, it's changed. So there's a lot of changes then in St. Yeah, Anne's. So you, you, when you go onto the road, you're going to see how it's changing this road as well. This is the main road. And here, for example, this used to be a proper in now look, it's a fenced off Curzon Court area. It wasn't even a court, it was just houses around the corner. Now it's all fenced off and secure. What's, 
What's interesting about areas is that it's not so much the area is rough as they make out, it's sometimes it's the people that's yeah. in that do the things, it's not the area. Sometimes we think, I know area people can bring an area down, but there's not in this, it's not that small, it's not small enough for everybody to, do you know what I mean, for a handful of people to bring the area down. I mean, if you look here now, that's the amount of city centre down there. Okay. Yeah. And this through here as well. And so that's just, and it's nice and tidy. Look how you're getting all the road work. Look at these cyclists, put new cyclists. Oh, so that's, yeah. Put the running on the other side of the road as well, which is building up. Just starting up there, they're redoing everything. So you see a proper cycle lane. So these are the highways, cycle highways up the road. Safety for everybody along the the road. Right, so we... Notice we've got a curb there, we're stopping. Ah, oh, nice. So it's, it really is doing up. Sentans is yeah. really doing Sentans up. Yeah. So we're heading on, we're on Sentans Well Road. Yeah. Quite a bit of road work's going off here. Um, and we're going to be heading up to what's the. You're going up to Jamrock just to go and get some food, but I don't think Jamrock man's going to like your video and him inside. So when you get up to, you might I'll, get I'll, I'll speak to him and then maybe I can advertise his. I'll, 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 I'll ask him, yeah, I'll advertise it. <laughs> yeah, so. As you can see, look at this. So downtown, we're in downtown St. Ham. No, no, but. The funny thing about St. Anthony is it's left and it's right. Yeah, so you've got both sides of the... It's the main road, it's the main road. So, yeah, so there's one road going through, main road, that takes you from, where is it, Mapu Top there? Mapu Top all the way to City Centre, but what you remember, this road splits into three areas. So, where it is now at St. Anthony, once it gets the traffic lights, on the right hand side, you've got Thornywood, and uh, straight ahead, you've got Mapu. So that's going to come in about another five, ten minutes. So this, did this used to be an old matinee place or? It used to be an old, oh yes, a cinema. Old cinema? Years ago, yeah, and they changed it to a discount shop and now they make it into a uh, this, massive this? Muslims meat place, I think. Oh, Looks they? like it, yeah, because inside the way they do it, like you want a proper Turkish kind of style supermarket. Ah, oh, so it's like going to be a supermarket. Yeah. seen a lot of them happening recently. So this is it. Used to be called you can tell by the building style, can't you? It's got this round edge to it, cinema style. But then, remember, this has been here for years. This used to be old Satchel Club, but they built on it and made it into apartments. Yeah, so new apartments there. The K shop. I don't know if they call it a K shop, but it might change the name. Again, buses run through, transport runs through St. Anne's as well. So, Nottingham is very good for transport, very good for transport. Make that made that known it's very good for transport transport services in Nottingham very very good one thing I give give it credit for right next to this place you've got the central police station central police station I won't film it so put central police station here for the Anne's police station St Anne's police station so it's not the central central one's in in the centre yeah it's it's a, a, I, won't, I won't film it so safe area for kids Mini police fun day, so the police are going to be doing something here. Fun day, and walk up there. Wait. That's the park there. And you're, you're walking in the, you're, you're practically in the heart of something that's now coming into the city, into the centre area of it. So, down, so downtown St. Anne's, we're in the middle of St. Anne's. Ribbon of Chase. Yes, ro this, is, this is what it's called, Robin Hood Chase. Chase yeah. Robin Hood Chase. So, Robin Hood, as you know, is um, associated with Nottingham, and this is what they call the Robin Hood Chase. So, this is the Chase. We used to break it down, and call it the Chase. Yeah, New building, all that. Look at that there, Robin Hood Chase. So, there's different centres in there. A lot of things happening. Post office. They're dying. They're dying out in in the UK at the moment. And then a few other shops. Look at that. Nice little walkway there to chill out. Left. Yeah, but this is an old school one. Yeah. Old school post box, I still have it. Has this yeah. been here? This been here for years then? Must yeah. have been. And so that's sent and look at it. And if you notice, come back here. If you notice something? What? Let's shoot. What? It's old style because it's got Elizabeth. Insignia on it. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, King Charles has taken over, but it won't change it. 
So they're not going to change that emblem? Why? So they're not going to change the emblem on here? Yeah, they can't change it. Iron cast. Oh. You're going to get a video that says it has red centre. No, I walk up. I walk up here. No, there's nothing up there. So this, this is the Saint Anne's Valley Centre. Look how big it is. So this is the health, the health centre. So what's in here then? A library. Um, the, 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 the GP surgeries. The social um, place where they have their meetings, gatherings, and meeting rooms. Maybe you know the, the those. Uh, the MPs have. Ah. They have um, sur clinics for surgeries. Right, okay. That's what that is, yeah. Can't, that's how big it is. So, this is. So, St. Anne's has its own health centre. Health centre, I've been in every one of them, one yet. It's quite big, isn't it? Maybe about 14, 18 years ago. Yeah. As you can see, cycle lanes have been made into a pathway here. Oh yeah, so they make a pathway there into the cycling. Yeah. Under there. Now you're coming up to all the tree-lined roads. Yeah, houses, flats. Houses and flats. So, St. Anne's is, is not all that bad, is it? It's, it's, it's a nice area to live in. Despite everybody's, you know, having bad press, it's not a bad area to live in. I personally wouldn't live here now. The, the squirrel lives there, there's a squirrel there. Squirrel lives in St. Anne's. Not a bad area. Where is it? Where is it? You got him in? Yeah. Yeah, his name, his name must be something. What do you think of St. Anne's, mate? No. No? No, no, no God? He doesn't like it. <laughs> Guys, so we're heading to. What's the shop called again? Jamrock. Jamrock. Alright, guys, see, I'm not sure if I'm going to film, but. You can see the there's jam rock there. Yeah, Marco Polo Market. Community hub here. Christian Centre. Christian Centre there. Alright guys, see you soon. Mask. Mask here. So we've done our journey through heading back to town. We've done our journey to St. Anne's. Okay. St. Anne's is up there where we started, we walked this way. Um Nads gave me a, a walk through of uh, St. Anne's and coming, coming through St. Anne's and how was it today? Normal, there's not a difference to any other day really. Yeah, so we've we managed to find our way out of St. Anne's, we've made it. See you guys soon. Yeah. Bad press. It's not a bad area to live in.